Hello everyone, so this is the new Microsoft Windows 11 build 23435. So there are some features and there are some fixes with this build. So the first feature is the gallery in File Explorer. So they are introducing gallery, a new feature in File Explorer designed to make it easy to access your photo collection. The set of content shown in gallery is the same as what you will see in the all photos view in the photos app. So this is the new gallery. So the gallery is optimized for accessing your most recent taken photos. Gallery will access your photos from OneDrive and it will also access your photos from the pictures folder in your computer. So gallery is optimized for accessing your most recent taken photos. If you have OneDrive camera roll backup set up on your phone, photos you take will show up automatically at the top of the view. You can choose which folders are shown in gallery through the collection drop down. You can also add subfolders of existing sources to filter to a subset of your content such as desktop backgrounds and SD card camera imports. So gallery also work from the file picking dialog, bringing that same ease of use to situations such as inserting attachments, building a PowerPoint deck or crafting social media posts. So when you click on a photo, you have all these options here. You can also share, you can also rename the photo, you can also copy and cut. So gallery also works from the file picking dialog, bringing that same ease of use to situations such such as inserting attachments, building a PowerPoint deck, or crafting social media posts. So there are some changes and improvements and Microsoft says they're continuing their exploration of badging on the start menu with several new treatments for users logging in with local user accounts to highlight the benefits of signing in with a Microsoft account. Microsoft says if you see one of these treatments, give them a feedback and what do you think? So in File Explorer, Windows Insiders will begin noticing a pizza icon on the command bar in File Explorer. This icon denotes that an insider is previewing the Windows app SDK version of File Explorer. Functionality in File Explorer remains unchanged. It just switches from using Win UI, which is Windows User Experience 2, to using Win UI 3. So another feature update is in a narrator. Narrator users who interact with traditional Chinese characters are now able to do this with confidence while using the narrator and the IME candidate window in Windows. This was accomplished by creating a traditional Chinese dictionary for detailed reading. So users should be aware that the narrator detailed reading is only supported in the Taiwan language pack. So in settings, Microsoft is introducing new presence sensor privacy settings and APIs. If you have a device with a compatible presence sensors, you can now manage your privacy and block or allow certain apps from accessing these sensors. No images or metadata is collected by Microsoft and all processing is done locally on the device hardware to maximize privacy. So you will find this setting in settings, privacy and security and and present sensing. So there are some fixes in this build. They fix in the taskbar and system tree. They fixed a few explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability. So they also updated the text input and enabled touch keyboard auto invoke in desktop mode to allow two as a valid value to enforce showing the touch keyboard on tapping and edit control even when the hardware keyboard is attached. So in the seven sections they fixed an issue which was causing certain crashes when navigating the various windows update related pages in the last couple flights so they also fixed an issue in live captions so they fixed the issue that caused enhanced speech recognition support installed through the language region settings page to require restarting live captions if you switch languages in the live captions caption language menu and this is on arm 64 devices they also fixed an issue where you may not see install completion of enhanced speech recognition. This is required by live captions when adding a language through the language region settings page and language feature installation progress may become hidden. So on the taskbar, they improve the performance of the expand all collapse all view options on the processes page. In accessibility, they updated the narrator's default for context level for buttons and controls to three immediate content name and type. They there are also some known issues such as search on the taskbar. There's an issue where some people may not see the search box on the taskbar or the settings 
to adjust the search box experience on the taskbar after updating to build 2343. And they are aware of that issue and they are working on a fix. Also in File Explorer, insiders who have Gallery and File Explorer will see the following issues. And here are some of the few issues here. So the gallery may require clicking twice on the node in the navigation page for initial load. There's also this issue, live updates including filtering are currently disabled and require using the refresh button as a workaround. Also, the thumbnail loading performance for dehydrated cloud files and memory usage in large collections are known issues and they are focused on improving that. And folders from OneDrive for Business currently must be hydrated to work properly. Some file types, example the HEIC file, might not be rendered correctly or performantly and insiders who have access keys in file explorer will see the following issues so these are some of the issues access keys will appear inconsistently if no button is pressed pressing a button will cause them to reappear so shift plus right click on a file or folder is not opening show more options insiders will also have issues with the following commands on recommended files in file explorer clicking on the share command will currently bring up the windows share sheet none onedrive also in live captions live captions will crash on first launch due to an issue impacting registry data retrieval and they are working on a fix there are certain languages shown on the language and region settings page will indicate speech recognition support example korean but don't use Yet have support for the live captions. So captioning performance may be degraded in non-English languages and missing out of language filtering in non-English languages, which means that incorrect captions will be shown for speech, not in the caption language. So here's some information for developers. So this is the latest features and fixes of Windows 11 build 23435 so i hope this video was helpful to you i thank you for watching and i thank you for subscribing